welcome to episode 15. Right now I am stripped of my suit and I have nothing but p pathetic energy pistol. Now you can shoot it no matter what, but it won't actually freeze your opponents unless the pink bar is flashing up in the corner. Then it will actually freeze the bad guys. Since you have so little defense, you will be really hurt if they find you. So just basically avoid all contact right now. You need power bomb for that. Now you can crawl instead of going into mortal. Pretty cool. Okay. Now you can go up here, but you can't get through the door. So you should probably just shoot these and crawl in. That is the final boss. You'll see shortly. Okay, these are the space pirates. They're those red, creepy things. They shoot beams out of their claws for hands. And here's a map room, which goes into your pistol. How can that be? Okay, I understand going into like a high-tech gun, but going into a pistol? Okay. Right now you can't open any doors except for the blue ones, so it really stinks, but you can't. Save? Yes. Now, these save stations completely heal you, so it's really helpful. Now, if one of them sees you, an alarm will go off, and those door things will close. Here, watch. Shoot them, freeze them, and find another way through. Once they don't see you anymore and you hide, the alarms will go off. Like, in, let's say you hide over here. They can't find you. And there. There's also a secret passageway up here, but you don't really care. Uh, you don't have any powers, so... And these little green things, if you touch one, then you set up an alarm. They would do that, wouldn't they? Stupid space pirates. Those are their beams. They can really hurt. Now, the only thing that can kill them is each other. They can also crawl, which is really irritating. But they can't seem to go through those blocks. But they can climb up a wall. Just keep freezing them and don't get hurt. Each, each attack takes away one energy tank. So you really need to run. Kind of like in Fusion, you can hide behind and wait for X to pass, but... Okay. I only have like four energy tanks left, so I'm really hoping for a safe place. There are ships. Nothing I can really get to right now. Now, right over here is a safe place. I'm going to take all the safe places in this walkthrough just because it completely heals me. Um, it's really helpful when you're really getting hurt. Okay. Climb up here. Luckily she can still jump really high. Not as high as a high jump, but... Still pretty good. Okay, just run. You just recently used your pistol, so it won't be any use. Now, you can't use your morph ball, but luckily these, your pistol sets off the morph ball traps. And those things are so low they can go right underneath. And, again, they can't go through those, so it's safe in here. And now, if you touch these balls, again, alarms go off. Really kind of brutal. Just go up to the top. Jump. Dodge him all the way. And run. Can't see you in here. He's really stupid because he doesn't even consider looking down. 
Your pistol goes for more fall damage. It's kind of useful. Okay, let's see. we're moving on. This is one of my favorite parts in the game, just because you're so helpless. Oh, you are helpless in the beginning of the game, but I don't know. I just like it. It's really cool. Okay. Luckily, there's enough time for you to crawl over it. And if you fall, it's the end of the world. No. Cry over fallen Samus. Run and fall again, just for the heck of it. And you could do it like that, but the lasers would have been off. As you notice, they don't actually come in until you're completely out of their way, so it's kind of weird. Okay, about three minutes left. Okay, just... They're everywhere! Weird thing is, my escape didn't really help at all. Ouch. And even if they touch you, it takes away an entire energy tank. Okay, you'll be back here, don't worry. Just right now, you don't want to do anything but run. Now you're back in Chozo Ruins. The only thing you basically want to do right now is hide. They won't, they will find you up there. The weird thing is he just runs right past you and disappears. It's like he just teleports. About two minutes left. I'm surprised I got this far. Okay. We're gonna have to just keep running. There are some more of those irritating alarm balls. Whoa! It's funny that he didn't even get a chance to know you were there. Normally, you'd, I'd have the alarm off by now, but I'm surprised that I didn't do so well. Now, this is how you get away. You just shoot that and then fall down to the pit of despair and just go away. Now, another alarm trigger. If you, this thing even touches you, see your foot is hanging down? If it sees that, then you're alarmed. So, basically, you don't want to show any part of your body. These things have ways of seeing you. Seems I can never get through an area that I can get an alarm off. I'm just really surprised I'm doing so well. Okay. If you stop for too long, it'll just make you fall down into the pit of despair with those guys. Isn't that just lovely? They will run by. Uh, nope, they won't. Never mind, don't listen to me again. I'm always wrong. Now, you can go if you want. But you can also cheat you there. I just want to hear a place that's hot. They come over here looking. Whenever you're in, the sh you're in the shadows, you're like basically out of their way. Even if you're right, in, even if you make noise, they won't hear you. Okay, I got about a little bit less than a minute left. Um, I'm gonna stop the save room if I can manage to find it in time. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video, and we're going to be facing our, the boss next time. And that boss is going to give us back our power suit and unlock those hidden items. So, thanks for watching. Bye.